So we have the implant temporary screw and we'll just literally place that right through the hole and I'll hand torque that in. So for this we're going to put a little bit of cotton into the access and then put a little bit of composite. And then we'll just quickly Now usually what I do is we just get this done for today and we can have the patient back and fix any minor aesthetic issues that we have. Okay. Here. Have Ron bite down. Hold it, open. Let's take a look at the, some before and afters. Uh, the case is not completed at this point in time. These are uh, two days after surgery of the, so this is probably actually about a day and a half after surgery. Here we can see uh, the pre preoperative condition and on the right hand side we can see the postoperative condition. Uh, as with immediate temporaries, you have to be very careful with your occlusion. A patient was informed in advance that in this scenario, we were 100% going to leave this tooth completely out of occlusion. No question that through uh, normal biting and parafunctional habits would he have any touching on this tooth. Obviously as he eats, he's advised to eat softly and to try to avoid site number seven completely. If we take a closer look, you can see our condition of our tooth. We can see that we were able to atraumatically remove it and place a temporary. You can see the uh, light occlusion mark that's there to denote that this tooth is not in occlusion whatsoever. And what we can start to see also is the beginning of the soft tissue development that is unbelievably incredibly important when doing anterior implant restorations. So by making a temporary we're going to sculpt and maintain that tissue, maintain our papilla so that when we go to make a final restoration all of that is not a concern for us.